Hello students, I'd like to bring some fun to your study of Newton's laws of motion. Newton's first law states that an object will remain at rest or move at constant speed unless acted upon by some external force to change that state of motion of rest or moving at constant speed. Now, uh, I want to illustrate this point that mass matters, no pun intended, but the quantity of matter that this pool pulp possesses is much greater than the quantity of matter that this ping pong ball possesses. That is to say that when I motivate this pool ball, it resists to a greater extent its change in state of motion than this ping pong ball. Effortless. Oh my gosh, we have Bruce Springsteen here. Thanks, Mr. Springsteen. That was a wonderful performance. Come by any time. Okay. Now, I want to continue this discussion with the following demonstration. I have here one kilogram of mass that has a quantity of matter substantially greater than that pool ball. Uh, how much mass? Well, a thousand grams. I said it, one kilogram. Uh, one, one end of this one kilogram mass has a hook, and the other, the other end I tied a string to it. Now check this out. I'm going to hang this mass on this other string, so it's going to be suspended by this demonstration pole. Now notice that the upper string has tension in it. How much? Well, one kilogram times 9.8 meters per second squared. That would be the weight in this Earth's gravitational field. So the string has a tension of 9.8 newtons. Um, a newton if you held an apple in your hand, which is about 100 grams, that would be the weight of a Newton, Newton's apple. It has nothing to do with Isaac Newton. I know you see an apple there, and there's that poster, Isaac Newton, down there. But it's, it's just coincidence. Anyway, let's keep going. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull on this lower string, and the strings of the same came off the same roll. Okay. So I'm going to pull on the string, and I want you to guess what's going to happen if I pull really hard. What's going to happen if I pull? Oh, OK. Yeah, you would think that. But because this mass resists a change in state of motion, watch this. I was able to break the lower string. Well, the reason why I was able to break the lower string is because this one kilogram mass resists a change in state of motion. So that protecting the upper string from breaking. Now, if I pull gradually, I'm gonna pull gradually on what's left that lower string. I can get the upper string to break easily, okay? Now watch this. I can break this string by just holding on with one hand. Look at this. One hand tied behind my back, ready? Thus demonstrating law of inertia, an object's resistance to its changed state of motion.